Hello everyone, good morning to you all. Happy New Week. Welcome to Rap Studio of Realities. Today is Monday, 5th of August 2024. And today's topic is preparing for our internal city. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, King of Glory, we thank you, we honor you, we appreciate you. Thank you for this beautiful week you have ushered us into. All the praise and glory belongs to you, Lord. Thank you for a good night rest. Thank you for divine life that is at work in us. Thank you for your word we are about to receive this morning. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us God's word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. Today's topic is preparing for internal city. Revelation 21 verse 1 to 2 says, And I saw a new heaven and a new heaven. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation 21, verse 1 to 2. Did you know that the major reason we are in this world is to prepare for another world? This world was never God's final dream. This is the place of preparation. Everything we do here in this earth is all in preparation for the internal city. We will be moved into the internal city which we will come from God and be planted in the new earth. God's intention was never for us to relocate to heaven and live there forever. God's plan is to have another city and another heaven. The Bible tells us that this current earth will be burnt up, completely destroyed, and replaced with a new one, with new heaven over it to regulate its conditions. There will be a city in that new earth where you and I will be with the Lord and His body and His holy angels forever, a massive city. The earth of the city is as the length of it. Think about that. The height is like the distance of a sea, six hour flight. That is the distance. Both in length as well as height. What a city. Everybody isn't going to be there. It is for only the saints of God. There will be the natural men and women who will populate the earth outside the city. There will be nations of men. The Bible says they will come regularly through the gate of the city to worship the king. But we, the saints, will always be with him in the city. The new Jerusalem. Hallelujah. That will be the headquarters and we will be functioning with him at the headquarters. So your life here on earth is in preparation for that city, that internal city. Keep working for the Lord. Keep doing what he is asked you to do and don't be found wanting to do everything he's called you to do. And finish it. The most important thing to him is the human soul. That is why Jesus came. So keep putting souls and imparting the lives of those in your world uh, with the gospel. Prepare them to also live internally with the Lord in our great and internal city when the time comes praise to lord hallelujah what a wonderful topic preparing for our internal city praise to lord what well, pastor is helping us to understand this morning why we are so busy in this earth praise to lord know that this earth is temporary hallelujah don't be too busy over the things of the world and forget where is everlasting and we, where is everlasting is heaven Praise to Lord. That is what is everlasting. Praise to Lord. So, it's pursue that more than pursuing the things of the world, which will not last. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. Pursue the things of God. Make sure you're doing the right things so that you can be with God in heaven. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. You don't want to miss out on that opportunity. You don't want to miss out on that city. Hallelujah. So that you can live your life. So your life will reflect God. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And how can you do that? It's just expressing love. Praise the Lord. Expressing love. Because if you have so if you have love, you want somebody, you want to win somebody's souls, you want to give out to the community, you want to let somebody come and enjoy this life that you are having. Praise the Lord. So that is why I am here every morning preaching the gospel because I have the love of Christ in my heart. And I don't want anybody to miss her. And I want you the life that God has called me to live, I want to live it to the full and fulfill his purpose here on earth praise the lord so with that being said let's take the prayer professions together thank you blessed father for the blessing privilege and honor for saving you and living soberly righteously and godly in the presence world as we look forward to the glorious appearing of our great god and savior jesus christ thank you for the grace to fulfill your destiny for my life and finish the work that you called me to do in jesus name Amen. For that study, you can look at Revelation 3 verse 12, Re Revelation 21 verse 1 to 4, one Bible read the plan, Romans 8 verse 18 to 39, and Psalm 17 to 73, two year Bible read the plan, Ephesians 6, 1, 9, and Isaiah 56. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe you told my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I believe you died for me and God raised